Hi everyone, this is my follow-up video to the JTAG tutorial series. Um, I got quite a few requests uh, on how to install XEX menu and Halo 3 dot map modding among others. So I'm going to start off with uh, the menu installation. This is quite a simple process. You just need either an official Xbox 360 hard drive or your own SATA hard drive with Xbox 360 style adapter. Uh, because you're now running XBR, any drive will work in 360. And now we need to download all the required software. You can find this at XBINS. I'm going to show you how to get that application now. I'll provide a link in the description nonetheless. Download XBINS, easy. Just step by step for anyone that's a complete noob. No offense to the noobs, of course. Now that the server has loaded, we'll just go into Xbox 360. Dashboards. And you'll find XEX menu down here. We need version 1.1, uh, the ISO. It, inc it should include the live version anyway. Okay, so now we've got that XDX menu file downloaded, and we can see it down here. XDX menu 1.1 ISO, it includes the um, live version, so that's a good thing. Now what we need to do is transfer this to our Xbox 360 hard drive. To do that, we just need to burn the ISO to disk. So once my console boots, I'm going to show you how to install the XDX menu. Once you hit the dashboard, just insert that CD you burned a few minutes ago and uh, wait for it to load. You'll get a black screen asking you to sign in. You can just do the temporary profile for offline use. And then in a few seconds, you should be getting the XEX menu interface. There we go. Um, so now, just hit the right bumper key on your controller, and you'll be taken to your uh, disk uh, contents. Press the X button and choose your DVD drive. You'll see you've got a code 9999 folder here. Press the Y button and copy that. And then press the X button to head to your hard drive. HDD1. Go to content, your zero folder. You'll see I already have my code folder here, but let's overwrite it anyway. Press the Y button. Then go down to paste. Confirm. And now we can head back to the dashboard. So XDX menu should now be selectable under game library. And there it is, XDX menu 1.1. 1 .1. 